Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to this video. So today's video is a little bit of a different topic. I've done reasons to move to Canada, reasons to move to Calgary, but now we're doing five reasons why you should not move to Calgary. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, it really helps us and leave a comment below on what you think of this video. And after this video, I'm gonna be doing another video of five reasons to move to Calgary as well. Number one. Number one is it's really, really expensive in Calgary. I really underestimated this when we moved from Ontario, which is another expensive place, but it is ridiculously expensive here. People underestimate how expensive Calgary is because they simply look at the price of a house and they go, wow, it's so cheap, let's just move. But they don't take anything into else into consideration like utility costs, rent costs, property taxes, um, internet costs, TV costs, grocery costs. They are all a lot higher here in Calgary. Number two, guys. Number two is the economy. The economy is absolutely horrific here. It is no understatement. If you work for a company, you very much have to say to yourself, if you're moving here, what happens if I lose my job? And I really mean that. If you move here, you seriously have to think what happen, What will happen if I lose my job? We see countless headlines every week of companies slashing thousands of jobs. There is absolutely loads of people out of work right now here in Calgary, and the competition for jobs is really, really heating up. So you really need to consider if you work for somebody, whether you wanna take that risk and whether it's really worth it. And I try and be optimistic on these sort of things, but when you really look at Calgary and what it's about, oil and gas, and, and it's lack of diversification, it's really hard to be optimistic and say, yeah, the future is bright, Calgary's gonna be this amazing place in five years. I honestly don't think it will be that way, and that's just being honest. Number three is the lack of public transportation. The city is absolutely ginormous. Calgary covers the same area as Worcestershire in England, the whole county of Worcestershire where I grew up. So to put that into perspective is kind of insane when I think about it, but the fact that there's very little public transit and what public transit there is, like the C train, is very limited on where you can go. It just holds Calgary back. If the transit was better, I guarantee more people would want to live here. And the other thing is a lack of public transportation to even get out of the city. There is absolutely no rail lines, no passenger services. You can't hop on a train to even Edmonton or Lethbridge. It, everything, you need a car. If you have that car, you're gonna have to learn to control your anger. You're gonna be faced with some of the worst drivers in Canada here in Calgary. Number four, guys, is migraines. Migraines are absolutely insane here. If you suffer from migraines like me, you have to find a way of dealing with them and the options that you have for dealing with them. And this is coming from a physician, guys. I went to a doctor's and saw a doctor about this at one point when we moved here. I actually thought I wouldn't be able to live here because the migraines, the coping was so, so bad. My doctor basically said, you need to give up alcohol and I didn't do it of course and I carried on but I eventually did go sober last year and I didn't drink at all and guess what the frequency of my migraines literally went from having one every single week one debilitating migraine that would just ruin my day completely to once every two months 
So for that, that's a pretty good thing. And I've read that some things like that don't work. Everybody is different. I also use marijuana when I do get a migraine because 420 guys, weed is legal here in Canada. I take CBD and THC mixes as long as I'm not working or don't have to drive that day or whatever. And because I'm usually getting migraines towards the afternoon end of the day, it enables me that I can have a drink. I have a THC. HC CBD drink mix and it's all good. I feel much, much better after I've had that, I gotta tell you guys. But the migraines are bad here and the cause of the migraines is the altitude. If you lived in Denver in Colorado, it'd be exactly the same but worse. Essentially what it is, to break it down for you real quick, is the pressure at this altitude, 3,700 or 3,800 feet above sea level, is lower and it fluctuates much more than at sea level. So we often can get these whacking high pressure systems that come out of the north, come out of the Arctic, and they cause you absolutely debilitating headaches. And then they can be followed by Chinooks, which come off the mountain. The wind can all of a sudden change temperatures from minus 20 to 10 degrees, and that can literally happen in a day and it will absolutely screw with this thing, your brain. So there's a couple of things you can do. Give up alcohol, take magnesium supplements, and also take some weed, 420. <laughs> Number five, and albeit a very important one, is obviously winter and snow. If you don't like snow, which I think a lot of Canadians honestly don't like snow, don't move here. You're just gonna depress yourself because it snows like eight to nine months of the year here. And yes, there will be like, you know, snow won't be on the ground for that long and it won't be sustained if you get like a snowstorm in June or something like that but it can happen. It was August this year, I went out for a walk and there was a frost. Yes, a frost in August. But that's again, just to do with the altitude and the climate and everything like that. So it's just one of those things guys that you have to deal with. And if you don't do winter activities, this place is gonna suck for you. If you're not a skier, a mountain biker or a hiker, this place is gonna absolutely suck for you and you really have to have a plan of what you're going to do in the winter for me when i lived in ontario i was always like thinking there's nothing to do when winter comes around i actually love winter and the reason is there's less people around in winter you get like i would say around 30 percent of people just hibernate in winter they don't go out of their house so if I'm out walking, hiking, or whatever I'm doing, there's just less people around and I much prefer that. I mean, when it's minus 20 and minus 30, those are the best times to go shopping and everything like that because everybody is literally just at home drinking booze, probably getting all their migraines ready for when the Chinook comes. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. There's gonna be another video that I'm gonna be posting in the next couple of days which is gonna be five reasons you should move to Calgary. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm also gonna be doing some neighborhood tours. It's a heavily requested thing that people have asked for, and I'm gonna be filming it this weekend. And there's gonna be lots of content coming your way, guys. You're gonna be thinking, what the hell hit me? Now I'm really focusing on this because I'm trying to focus on things I enjoy, and I absolutely love doing this. So anyway guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.